so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is a very on mass code at this side and today we will be solving yet another problem minimum element in bst and it is a very easy problem as you can see it is shown here that it is basic level but it is still asked in microsoft so it is important for you to understand the problem right so the problem is minimum element in bst so by bst we mean a binary search tree let's understand what is a binary search tree so i hope you all know about all know about binary tree right a binary tree is something like this this is my parent node or my root node and it has at max two children binary means two so it has at max two children it can have zero one or two children it can have zero children one children or two children so it is something like this one is one child is on the left and one child is on the right it is also a type of node okay now binary search tree means suppose this is my parent p this is my left and this is my right so binary search tree says that if a binary tree follows l is less than equals to p not less than only le less than not equals to and r is always greater than p then it is a binary search tree if a binary tree follows l is great, less than p and r is greater than p then it is a binary search tree what do I mean by less than? The value in left nodes is less than value in the parent node. Suppose this is 5 and this is something 4, 3, 1, 2, any of these values, right? 4, 3, 1, 2 and it is 6, 7, 8 up till infinity and even then it is a BST, right? It is a BST. That is the only property. Now, I have been given this node, the ultimate parent of the parent of the binary search tree and I have to return the value of the minimum element. So now, I just discussed that L is less than P in a binary tree, right? And I want to find the minimum value. Now to find the minimum value, isn't it great? Because I am provided with this and I want the minimum. So I will traverse this. I will traverse this one. Now this child also, this also has a uh, child, right? So it is something like this. Now it is a BST. So this child will also the property that this node's value will be less than this value so i will have to traverse left again left again right so my approach becomes that until my left child is not null that is until there is a scope to go left there is a scope to go leftwards i will move left move left move left and at last after this loop finishes i will return left's value I will return left's value. Is that understood? Is that understood? Right. Okay. One more thing I want to teach from, uh, regarding this question is, although it is not asked to us, I want to teach you that this question can also be solved using in order traversal. In order traversal. In order traversal is a type of traversal that traverses the given tree in the order left root right so for this my order traversal will look something like see there is a trick i always use to find the order traversal i just drop these bars down and i start traversing here like here so first my this node gets stuck up then this then this so my traversal becomes l p r for given tree right l p r now in order traversal has a property that if the given tree is a bst then in order traversal will be in ascending order in, in ascending order right now if the order is in ascending order i can say the first element is the minimum element first element is minimum so i can return it from that that point of view also right so i hope that is clear to you we, have, we will be using this approach because this is much easier to use only three to four lines of code we will go left first until the, there is a possibility of going left right okay so what is time complexity time complexity will be o of log n why log n because as each step my height is decreasing by two so one two right so if suppose this is a complete binary tree and there is a node here how many nodes i have to traverse i have to traverse three nodes with a total number of nodes present are one two three four five six right so it is somewhat close to log n right okay so now let's solve the given problem right let's code it down 
I hope you are excited for the code also. Today's question was very basic. If you have some knowledge of BST, that if you know what is a BST, then it is very easy for you. Right? So my first statement should be that if my root is not present, my root is null. In that case, I will have to return minus one. Where did I where did I learn that from? So it is mentioned in the your task that if the tree is empty, there is no minimum element. So return minus one in that case, right? Okay. Now my second step is that while my root left is not null. That is there is a scope of going leftwards. In that case, my root will convert to roots left. And at last return roots data. Right? Okay. Hope it works. I'm putting it for compile and run. In the meantime, I would request you that to subscribe to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and like the video. If the if you, if you find the content likable, right? Okay. So you can see 100% accuracy, 106 days streak, right? Thank you guys for supporting me in this journey and signing off. Bye.